Okay, so I am back. I am writing my story still. It's been really, really hard. I don't know why, I just can't kind of wrap my head around what I want to do. What you would have seen is me writing out um, the outline, or trying to anyway, and trying to piece together all of the different things. Um, I also made a little mind map kind of timeline thing of the outline so I could see if I could place things around and all different and stuff. And I've also been back onto the research stage. Um, I've gotten all of these tabs open um, and that is just with more research. Everything's all over the place. So I'm trying to find out more. I thought this would be kind of like an easy project because not much is known about the Norse gods and what they kind of are. It's actually really, really difficult. <laughs> I do have a lot of playing around kind of stuff that I've still got to do. So it's not bad, but I still haven't begun actually writing stuff yet. I'm still researching and doing the outline. At the moment, I've decided or I'm trying to make it like a romance kind of on a similar line of Laura Olympus. Obviously not copying it or whatever, but you know, there has been multiple accounts of um, different retellings of mytho mythology stories and myths and all that kind of stuff. I'm just doing the same sort of concept of Olympus of putting it in the modern day world and smooshing all of those stories together. Yeah, at the moment, it's kind of a little bit difficult because I'm doing Norse mythology and Marvel has like overtaken Thor and Loki as characters. But yeah, basically Thor and Loki from Marvel's version is creeping in a little bit. So I'm trying to not do that as much. And basically Loki is like really, really mischievous and just wants to like mess up everything. Trying to not do that, I think. I'm not entirely sure. There's also some bits that I've like, I'm taking some major liberties with this. And because we also don't know that much about Norse mythology and the actual characters, and you know, because back then it wasn't all written, and so we just have vague things to go off of. And then the prose edda was written, and the guy who wrote that, he kind of took, he took major liberties with the Greek myths anyway. So the most reliable source that we actually have isn't that really reliable because he supposedly like made it neater instead of accurate, which I actually don't mind at all. Um, kind of helps me with my story of neatening, trying to neaten it up even more. Basically, I'm adding quite a bit more fantastical elements into it just so that things make sense. Um, and I'm also combining some characters as well. I know that like Laura Olympus has pretty much all the characters already there. I kind of don't know where to take it from. Basically is my point. I don't really know where the start of my story is and where I'm going to end. So what my plan is to just write out a humongous outline and then, you know, slot in all the stuff and so I've decided that my two main characters, or a few main characters, are going to be obviously um, Thor and Sif, as well as possibly Loki, and possibly Odin and Frigg slash Freya, because I'm connecting those two because they basically are the same, so I'm putting them together. Other characters that we don't really know too much about, like they only have one mention. Um, I'm also erasing. <laughs> it's very like, eh, I don't know. So for certain 
I'm not like supposedly erasing them from the story. I'm just giving other gods their kind of role in different stories. Does that make sense? The other thing is, I don't know, yeah, I don't know when my story's gonna start and I don't know when it's gonna stop. So that is a lot that I have to figure out. So I'm going through it and I'm just finding out more about what each god's role was or what they were like. It's interesting because we don't really have much information on what they were like, just more of what they did or what, how they were kind of worshipped. Uh, and then obviously um, Norse mythology is also quite difficult in that it got taken over by a lot of Christianity. There are a lot of Christian sounding elements in Norse mythology, but really it's, you know, Norse mythology did it first, then Christianity just kind of sucked it up, which is always fun. So yeah, it's just kind of trying to pull those apart and figure out what I'm putting into here. I'll show you this one as well. I am also starting on the kind of drawing aspect because I do want this to be a uh, comic book. You can see me, hello. Yeah, I've basically been collecting images and depictions and statues and ele uh, elements that I will eventually like draw up and put in there um, to connect all of the characters and to know what they look like. It is actually pretty late today. Basically, tomorrow is the start of Camp NaNoWriMo, and I think I'm just gonna bundle it all together. This is my third proper attempt at a NaNoWriMo, and so we'll see how it goes. Obviously, I'm doing something a little bit different because it's not so much of a novel, novel as it is a graphic novel or a comic. But basically, I was really stressing about the story uh, yesterday because I didn't really like the way the outline was going and what was happening and what I was doing with it. So basically I have just kind of looked over it and just ended up putting the dot points and general gist of what I want to happen, not exactly in order, but basically I'm fine with writing like that. So I'm just going to write the scenes that I have and we'll see <laughs> where I get to in the script. Probably gonna write it up first and then in the next months start drawing it up. So July is for words and then the rest of the month is gonna be for drawing. Tomorrow is the official start of Camp Nano. I actually have put up like my projects on the Nano site and I'm just gonna start there and we will see how I go.
Okay. First 10 minute sprint done. And I got 265 words. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing with this. I'm, I'm literally just spewing up onto the page. Um, <laughs> I'm just chucking down stuff and seeing what sticks. <laughs> ah. I have found a webtoon comment <laughs> called Loki Lord of Chaos and I was reading the... I had like had a brief look at it ages ago and I couldn't remember what it was about. And guess what? It's got the exact same premise as what... <laughs> So Loki is forbidden love, got forbidden love for Thor's future bride. Sif. That's what I had. Damn it. Um, does this mean that I'm reconsidering to just throw it all out, restart? Yes. Am I going to? I can't. <laughs> anyway. What can you do? So, today has been a bit interesting. Um, I feel like it's just gone. So, basically, um, the thing was that I wasn't really feeling like I just couldn't write <laughs> or type on my laptop um, and like get the story out. So I've decided to try and do it the good old way of a notebook, paper, good old paper and pen, um, and see if that helps with anything. Because I think at the moment I'm trying to write it like a script and that's not how my brain works. So I think I just need to like write it and just get it out and then I can type it up and fix it. So I have a few minutes until I need to go to work so I'm going to do a sprint and just see what I can come up with and see what I can get out there. Okay, so this is how much I've written. Basically, I, mm, I'm i very flip-flop. I'm going very back and forth on some of the ideas that is happening in this story. Mainly because, I mean, this is part to my kind of poor planning, but also I don't really know. I'm not making any proper decisions. <laughs> I don't really know what I want any of the characters to be. It's definitely more easier for me to just make up who they are to fit the story rather than get the characters and then make a story. That means I do more plot driven, I'm assuming, more plot driven stories, which isn't a bad thing. It's just this requires character driven story and I'm not very good at that. I don't really, I haven't really done that before kind of made up the plot and then the characters have just fallen into a line of like the plot needs them to do to move the plot along. Does that make sense? I am going very back and forth about how I want to introduce certain characters, namely Loki, what are their roles in the story, namely Loki. He is around Thor so much that I, like he is supposed to be his friend and betrayer. The only way that I could think of that is to put, you know, betraying of love because I want this to be like a romance. I don't know, I think we'll have to, um, we'll have to see where this goes. This may need a lot of drafts. I think what I'm going to do is, this is my plan, I'm going to get this, this book, and I'm going to pick a story that's in here, one that, um, I've decided that is like a current story in my stories. Like, because I've shuffled the timeline around a little bit. So, 
I'm gonna pick one and then just write it So it is absolutely freezing and I have to spend the whole day at work today. I'm just going to blast the heater on since it's freezing. So yeah, so I have to spend the entire day um, at work today. But anyway, yeah, um, I have my hot chocolate. I have no idea how much I'm going to get done today. We'll see. I have a few minutes breaks in between classes, but I don't know. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> okay, so after a very long and tiring day, the most time that I got in today um, was I got half an hour of writing. <laughs> I was just kind of sitting with it for the last 20 minutes or so about. Um, and look at this. <laughs> so this is all that I got. So it's not too bad. 589 words. So I'd say that's pretty good. There's this session. 589. Let's just say it's an hour. I don't really keep track of times too much. Um, it was pretty good. Um, the office, sure. <laughs> My laptop. There we go. So, I've gotten a thousand words today. Nice. So yeah, so I'm not going to do the standard um, 50,000 words. Um, one, because I don't think I need it. I'm not actually writing a story I'm just writing like a script kind of thing um, and two it's it's gonna make it feel a lot easier because um, now I only need 644 words per day um, and that's and that's pretty good or I kind of hit that I'm close to it and I kind of hit it yesterday so I'm on track which is uh, pretty good. Today is the Steve's job fit. Woo! So, plans for today. I am going out this morning with um, my parents. We are going to Costco and we're going to go around there because I've actually never been to Costco. Um, they used to go all the time back when they didn't have us kids here, so they're gonna take me to it. And then I also have my D&D &D game this afternoon, which I might run late to that. I don't know, doesn't matter. But I'm gonna see how many words I can get in. I'm gonna bring my laptop with me and we'll see where I end up with word counts. Because at the moment I'm literally just, this is gonna be like zero draft, like Kate Kavanagh style. Um, I'm literally just, I have no idea where I really want the story to go or be, so I'm just like throwing things in there that I want. Like mentions of things and other things, because I'm basing it off of something. Um, yeah, I've also realized that, like I was going through my notebook the other day and I realized that I've missed a lot of the small little kind of stories that I want to include, so like, mentions, oh, they'll probably be like mentions of them. Take all the stories and stuff and just to throw them in there and maybe flesh out some scenes. I've got some scenes that I like started um, writing dialogue for and then it just kind of like went on from there. 
so that was pretty good. I'm also going to keep doing the writing with the Norse mythology by Neil Gaiman and just like remake those stories. Basically, I know that I didn't get much filmed today. It was very exhausting and I'm very tired now and it's literally dark outside already. Um, so I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I got this new blanket though. Nice fuzzy blanket, which I'm very happy about. But yeah, my brain is just kind of dead. Um, I actually got some writing done this morning. 401 words in there. And then also I got some in the Google Docs. 233. So I did pass um, my mark, which I'm quite happy about. I'm also still writing stuff. I'm not counting them. Some of the stuff that I'm writing, um, I'm actually putting in like my story or world building page. I'm not counting those words. I'm only really counting ones that are going to go story wise. Some of them, yeah, that makes sense because it's like a thing that could be happening in there so I'll probably end up doing that just so that I get some more words in because also I, I don't want to lose that kind of stuff because um, assuming that what I'll do is as soon as I go through the story page of like what I want to have in the story move it over into the actual story I'll just like stop looking at the story story and just look at the outline versus my draft so that's what I'm thinking of doing sci-fi as well as ha as well as having written much more fantasy than sci-fi um i think that's why i went into sci-fi because i got like fantasy fatigue a little bit mm -hmm. uh would recommend adrian tchaikovsky children Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah so physics is hard sci-fi is hard <laughs> <laughs> in order <laughs> um then like april can't